channel. I'm doing a quick crock pot meal. I'm going to show you. In here I have two big uh, chicken breasts. They are frozen. I do cook frozen in here. Uh, I'm going to add water. I added about three cups of water. And I want to add some chicken flavored bouillon to it. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons in there. Okay. Then I'm going to add some uh, onion. Chop it any way you want. It's over here. This is where I cut off some of the fat off of the chicken. So if you got fat on the chicken that you don't want in there, because we are going to be shredding this, so just throw your onion in there. Okay. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder. Just to, you know, eyeball it. If you don't like garlic powder or anything like that, don't use it. Uh, I am going to use some of these chopped onions also. I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. Okay. And I'm going to add a package of taco. I'm using mild. You can use whatever kind you want. So this is going in there. Okay. Now I'm going to try and mix this all up a little bit. Just to get these flavors together. I'm going to flip the chicken over. There we go. I'm going to cook it on high. I'm going to start it on high. You know, for a few hours till I see the chicken starting to cook. So I'm going to put the top on this. Um, I'm going to put it on high, like I said, for, I don't know, I set the timer for four hours. But I am going to be checking it after two hours. I will check it to see how the chicken is doing in here. Okay, then we'll come back. And I'll show you everything else that goes in there. Stay tuned. See how this turns out. So here's a better picture of it. That's what it's looking like on the inside. And like I said, I got it on for four hours on high. But I am going to be checking it after two. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Uh, I had it cooking for two hours on high the chicken and this is what the chicken is looking like if i can get it out of here it's slipping and sliding right here here's the other one it's falling apart so that's what i want to do i want to like try and shred this chicken up the best i can break it up it's still going to cook more, but I want to get it where it's shredding apart. See? See that? How it's shredding? Very, very hot. So, like I said, I'm just shredding this chicken up. See it? It's not quite there. I'm going to cook it for another hour. And then we're going to come back after an hour and I'm going to add all the rest of the, well, not all of them. I'm going to add all but um, one, all but the cheese. All right. So I'm going to put the top back on, let it go for another hour and I'll be back. Okay, everybody, it's been in there for three hours on high. And I'm breaking up the chicken 
as you can see, I've got a better angle for you is all. So just break up your chicken. Like I said, that's been in here three hours. Now comes the rest, except for the cheese. I'm saving the cheese for last. So I got a can of Rotel right here. I'm gonna open it up and that's gonna go in there. All right. So in goes the can of Rotel. And I got a can of Pinto beans. That's going in. See, that has a lot of liquid on it. I'm gonna drain some of that off. I don't want all that. Excuse my arm. That's better. Right there. Okay, so that's going in. Easy enough, right guys? Dump and go. The black beans. I'm gonna open up the Goya one. Maybe I might need just one. Let's see. And I'm gonna drain a little bit of that. So here we go. And go with the black beans. Yeah, I think one can of each is gonna be enough. I had two there just in case, but I think one will be enough. Let's see. I'm gonna get them all out of there. Wait, prices are today. You better get every bit. Alrighty. So I'm staring that around. Like so. And I'm gonna put in some frozen corn. I don't think I'll use this whole package. This is a pound. Put a half a bag, eight ounces. Put that in there. Almost looks like a chicken chili, right? I got the cream cheese, but I'm using the third less fat one, the Nufichel. I'm using that. And I'm gonna put this in there. I made something similar to this before. Come on. So that's gonna get all melted in there. All right, I'm gonna add the whole thing, guys. I'm gonna add all this cream cheese, one package. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put them in, put this in. As soon as I get all this cream cheese out. There we go. So that cream cheese got to melt down. Let me show you. I got these. Old Del Paso soft tortilla bowl. And they're flour, eight flour tortillas. You could put these in the microwave, heat them up. Yep. Not in the package. It says don't heat it up in the package, but... There they have how you can heat them up. You can do them in the oven or the microwave. And then fill this 
but this is not even, this is not near done. This gonna, I'm going to let this go another hour on high. Let all this cream, see the cream cheese? That all has to melt down. Let this get a little bit thicker. And then the last thing to this is going to be some uh, cheese. Shredded cheese on top. Okay, guys. Let me get this back on there. And we'll be back when it's done. Okay, everyone. It's been in here for four hours. Uh, total. Now, my recommendation is I use frozen chicken. Everybody has their own way. Some people... Uh, they say don't put frozen chicken in a crock pot. So use your judgment, you know, read up on it or whatever. But anyway, this is what it's looking like right here. And so what I'm going to do for just a few minutes is I'm going to put this mild cheddar right here. I'm going to sprinkle this on top get a nice coating of this on top so like i say read up on it or whatever but i'm just showing you how i do it you can use your variations this is just an idea all right, so I'm just going to let this cheese melt. I'm going to put the top back on. And whenever this cheese is melted, we'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to plate it up. All right, everybody, the cheese is all melted. This is what she's looking like. Uh, yeah, that's... There we go. All right, so... I'm giving it a good mix up. And here's my little um, tortilla boat. I put it in the microwave, got it warm. Not long. You don't want it in there long. And let's try this. Super hot. Just shut it off. So I'm trying to... So you want to fill your little boat. And you can eat it with a, a fork or wait till it cools down. There we go. That's what it's looking like. And like I said, it's super hot. Let's see if the flavor is there. Okay, let's give this a try. Uh, can you see it right there? So. And you got all that juice. But as it sits, it'll thicken. Once it's in the fridge too, it'll thicken up. This is just done. Just, just done. So let's try it. Mm. Really good, guys. And with that juice, it loosens up this tortilla a little bit, too. But it's really, really good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to try this. Or did you make this before? I, I don't think I ever made it this way before. So, let me know what you think. Okay, guys, have a great day. Have a safe day. And until next time, bye now.